The Go Higher podcast is presented by the High Program of Wayne State University. The High Program, helping individuals go higher. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Go Higher podcast, where we take on the tough and relevant subjects in everyone's day-to-day lives and provide insight on how to respond, resolve, and re-inspire yourself and those around you. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about homesickness. My name's Karsten, and I'll be your host today. Homesickness is something that is felt by many college students. According to a 2015 study done by the University of California, 69% of first-year college students reported feeling homesick. Missing home is not an uncommon problem due to college being the first time that many students leave their family and friends behind. For many students, the combined stress of being in a new situation and not having their family and friends that they grew up with can cause them to become homesick. For many students, homesickness is seen as a sign of weakness and is something that is not a normal feeling. However, students should understand that it is indeed natural and a usual response for being in a new situation. Every individual has a different way of tackling their homesickness, and for each person, the solution will be different. However, there are a couple of common steps that any student can follow in order to reduce how homesick they feel. Students will also learn about resources available to them through their university to help them resolve this issue. That means it's time for the key word of the day, homesickness longing for home and family while absent from them. Homesickness is a combination of many things, missing home, academic stress, social stress, and many other facts that add up to cause students to feel like they're missing home. Here are a couple of ideas that are proven to help students feel less homesick. Number one, do not see it as a weakness. Missing home is not a weakness. It is a very rational reaction. When you spend your whole life in a certain environment, it is very hard to leave it. Feelings of longing and sadness are natural and not anything to be ashamed about. Number two, do not spend too much time in your room. It may seem like a good idea to stay inside your room all day, but it in fact is not. The effects of isolation on one's mental health can be well noted. It is very well known that isolation is very detrimental to a human's mental health. In fact, according to a study done by professors at Birmingham Young University, A lack of social connection heightens health risks as much as smoking 15 cigarettes a day or having alcohol use disorder. Try and get out of your room as much as possible. Organize little day trips, such as heading to the library or trying some extracurricular activity. Number three, find a familiar place. The importance of having a place that you can call as your own is very important. This can be the table you study at or a place that you get coffee every single day. Simple things like this can help relieve the feeling of homesickness since you now have a place where you feel comfortable. Number four, pick real life experiences over virtual ones. Staying in touch with people has never been easier due to the advent of social media and cell phones. However, constantly looking at photos of your friends having a great time is not going to help you feel better. It's only going to make you feel worse about yourself. Instead, choose to put your phone down for a little bit and try out the amazing opportunities available to you at your institution. This leads us to our next piece of advice. Number five, meet new people. It can be very understandable to not want to meet new people. Being in a new situation can be tough for certain people who especially are not the most social. However, meeting new people and making new friends will make your college experience far more entertaining and enjoyable. You never know what sort of experiences and lifelong friendships you can make by just introducing yourself to someone. Number six, explore your new surroundings. You're in a new situation and it could be an amazing opportunity to be able to see all the new things that are around you. Take some time to explore the streets around your campus or Google what are interesting, cool things to do around your campus. For example, near Wayne State is the Scarab Club. This club is dedicated to the arts and does exhibitions in art, music, and literature. It's just one of the many interesting things that you may be surprised that you find. Number seven, exercise. Working out can be a great way to keep yourself in a better mood. Exercise has been proven to be very effective as a mood-altering tool. 
keeping yourself in shape is also proven to help with productivity, which is very important as a busy college student. Number eight, ask for help. Again, there is nothing wrong with feeling homesick. Universities have various resources available to their students in order to help them. This can include support from professors to the counseling office. The counseling office is equipped with the resources to support whatever issue that student may face. Universities care a great deal about the health and welfare of their students. Thus, there is a wealth of resources available to help students with whatever issues they may have. Overall, homesickness can be draining and something that may seem like there's no way out. It is a common problem that many face and it's nothing to be ashamed of. With certain steps and making use of the resources available through your university, you will soon be able to find a way out and emerge a stronger and happier person who may have a brand new perspective on life. This episode has been provided by the Wayne State University High Program. College can be difficult, but for some, students' financial issues can make things impossible. The High Program at Wayne State University provides critical funds to students who are having major issues with basic needs like tuition, books, housing, and food. Just a few hundred dollars at the right time can save a student from dropping out of school or being homeless. Students should not have to decide between basic life necessities and finishing their education. The HIGH program has connected hundreds of students with these basic needs and provides a light at the end of the tunnel for what amounts to the most difficult period of their young lives. If you would like to help, donations of any amount are welcome and you can find all of our information at highprogram.wayne.edu.